Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Saturday the 7th of September 2024. We're publishing our Gold and Silver Weekly Update for the weekend in the 6th of September. Gold and silver markets were slightly weaker last week. Silver though, in particular, when Friday's jobs data hit prices hard. What happened? Well, let's take a look. Gold fell $6 last week, falling from $2,504 to $2,498. Having hit a high of $2,530 and a low of $2,472, a fall of just 0.2%. Gold spread between high and low was $58. Last weekend we said gold would trade between $2,460 and $2,540, which it did comfortably, and closed in the middle of that range. In sterling terms, gold fell £5, closing at £1,904. I'm waiting for it to go up to £2,000 by the end of this year and see if we're right. And in euro terms, gold fell €12, Euros, closing at €2,255. Euros. Silver fell 93 cents, a similar amount to the previous week, falling from $28.87 to $27.94. Having hit a high of 29.58 and a low of 27.71, a fall of 3.2%. The difference between its high and low was $1.87, a similar range to the previous week. There may be greater volatility this week and we'll discuss why shortly. Now last weekend we predicted silver will trade between $27.50 and $30.00. Again, it did this range comfortably, though spent most of its time towards the lower end of that scale. In sterling terms, silver was down 71 pence at £21.33, and, and in euros it closed at 25.26 euros. That's down almost just one cent off one euro. The gold to silver ratio rose from 86.7 to 1 to 89.4 to 1. Bitcoin currently stands at $54,233, down just under $5,000. That's a $10,000 fall in the past two weeks. Equities were lower. Dow Jones down 1,218 points at 40,345. The S&P down 760 at 5,408. The Nasdaq down 1,023 at 16,690. And the FTSE down 195 at 8,181. Is the short-term rise over? Well, let's wait and see. Oil's good news were lower. Brent crude closed down $5.87 at $71.06. WTI crude closed down $5.88. Very rare the two fall within one cent of each other and close at $67.67. If these prices hold at this level, they will undoubtedly reduce next month's inflation. The dollar index stands at 101.18. That's down 0.51 points on the week. Now, last weekend, we stated, quote, at first sight, it does appear that markets have now already factored in a rate cut and arguably will only shoot precious metal higher if a second cut is envisaged in 2024, remember buy the rumour, sell the fact. Quite a few precious metal specialists and traders are arguing that both gold and silver require a small period of consolidation before the next move higher, and we're now about to finish the holiday season, unquote. Well, prices were lower for much of the week until a strong rise on Thursday and then a pullback again on Friday. We did say... This coming week, all eyes will be on Thursday and Friday, and this is where most of the action occurred. Now, looking at last week's data, Tuesday's manufacturing PMIs were broadly as anticipated, as were Wednesday's US trade deficit and factory orders, and Friday's services PMIs, to be frank. But Thursday's ADP employment report for August came in at 99,000 new jobs, compared with expectations of 140,000. And with U.S. labor costs falling, this boosted the precious metals market. However, on Friday, the employment report, or traditionally called the non-farm payrolls, ceased the euphoria as the numbers of new jobs increased, compared with July from 89,000 to 142,000. And U.S. hourly wages rose from 0.2% to 0.4%. 
causing year-over-year -year wages to rise from 36 to 3.8%. The unemployment rate, meanwhile, slipped to 4.2% from 4.3% in July and declined for the first time in five months. These figures, in fairness, virtually guarantee a rate cut this month, but for now calls into question whether a further cut in 2024 is realistic. Our forecast is that the Fed will cut rates by a quarter of 1%, and hope that it can do the same again in November or December. Now, if oil prices remain low and inflation subsides as a result, the Fed may be able to do this. But for now, the jury is out. Now, this coming week, we should see some volatility in precious metal prices as we have some very important US data. Monday, consumer credit figures for August. Wednesday, CPI. This is the day. CPI and core CPI figures for August. Expectations are that the CPI year-over-year -year figure will fall from 29 to 2.6%, and core CPI year-over-year -year will remain steady at 32 We do not expect these figures to be wide of the mark, but we do believe that the CPI is more likely to come in at 27 rather than 26 but let's wait and see. Thursday, producer price index for August, and Friday, the import price index for August. So all eyes on Wednesday, and let's assess Thursday's PPI figures to see if they provide an indication as to next month's inflation data. Now, gold prices are currently consolidating around the $2,500 level, and has been doing so for the past three weeks. It attempted to reach its record high of $2,532, but could not quite get there. Technical analysts forecast gold could fall as low as $2,439, where the 50-day moving average lies, but is likely to be supported at $2,450. If it surpasses $2,532, its all-time high, it will quickly move on to the next psychological resistance level of $2,550. Silver has some more concerns. Analysts are forecasting that if silver should dip to $2,720, it could fall back to as low as $26 maybe within two weeks. On the upside, if it can break above 28.88, which is where the 200-day EMA rests, it may very well move back towards the $30 level, where the next significant level of resistance lies. But there is some considerable background concern for silver, which is expressed very nicely by Arshan Ali of FX Empire. His recent article states, and I'll quote him verbatim, India silver imports from the UAE surged 5,853% year-over-year, totaling 1.74 billion in FY24, compared to just $29 million the previous year. The massive increase is linked to tariff concessions under SEPA, a trade deal between India and the UAE implemented in May 2022. Now, although the deal was initially seen as a step towards free trade, India's recent review questions the long-term benefits, particularly regarding the surge in precious metal imports. The uncertainty surrounded the trade agreement and its potential revisions could influence future silver imports, thereby impacting global silver prices. However, the true effect will depend on how India negotiates terms with the UAE." Unquote. This is not good news for silver bulls, and certainly suggests that silver may lag gold again for some time into the future. We shall have to wait and see how the trade agreement pans out before we can be more certain. So what are we expecting this coming week? Well, we envisage gold will trade between $2,450 and $2,540, with $2,430 and $2,575 as outliers. And silver to trade between $27 and 2950 with $26.50 and $30 as outliers. What are your thoughts? Please do share them. Meanwhile, thank you so much for listening. We'd appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, press the bell sign, pop on over to Finances Do Matter, our sister channel, and sign up there if you haven't already done so. Have a great weekend, and let's see how prosperous this coming week will be.